hello today i am going to add few textures for this character and at first place i am i'm going to have some window and inside this window i'm going to have some type of character so this character is going to have some textures like when this character tries to move along this left side right here this character is going to have some type of texture so he's going to update his texture and when this character tries to is moving along this right direction this character is going to have some different texture so actually it is some type of image and based on some condition like he's moving along this direction and some opposite direction uh, so based on that this character is going to update itself like it is going to update its own image or some type of textures so i'm going to have some type of list which is going to store all these textures and based on this condition i'm going to provide some type of index and it's it's actually i'm taking some textures from that list and i need to make this texture to that value so i'm going to do that and this character is going to move by the help of this keyboard and i'm going to provide some movement when i'm going to click on this arrows so this arrows represent the direction where this character is moving so at first let let us create this window so i'm going to use this this arcade which is a 2d gaming module and you can do 2d games much easier and let us have variable for screen width and screen height and screen screen title so width is 800 and height is 400 and the title is i'm going to name it as new window and let us have class so i'm going to provide some name for this class like something like this new window so here comes the main part so i'm taking this arcade dot window so in this line you can see that this is acting as subclass and this as main class so let us have pass so this means that this class exists but but doesn't have any type of statement so let us print so let us use this help otherwise before let us print this arcade dot window so it is saying it is a class so let us use this help So these are all the methods for this. So you see this is a class and it is saying that these are all the methods and we have this constructor. So at first place we need to provide this width, height and title. So all these are having some default value. And we need to provide some different values for these three things. And so based on these three things I have provided this variable in this sequence like width coming first, height coming second and title at the last so main thing here is i need to send i need to provide these three values to this so i need to provide these three values to this constructor so this class is going to have this constructor so this is going to take this three values so let us provide the same name and after that i need to use this super so that i can send these three values to this main class and so I, and also i'm using this in it and let us have these three values so make sure this name and this name must be same and we can set some type of background for this window so let's assume i am going to provide some green color so if you want this color try to check this rgb value 
to get this type of background so let us provide this let us set some background so its name suggests we need to set background color so here you can provide this arcade dot arcade is having this element and I'm going to choose this color so how I can say that this arcade is having this element so we can see by by the help of this dot and this color this type of color is ha is a type of this color so to understand that let us have this dir and let us check the so this is going to return some type of list so this arcade is having these many elements and among that I have this set background color so somewhere so we have this set background color right here so we can also see that by this dot and this arcade is also having this color so C for color Yeah, we have this color element inside this arcade. So you can use this help and dir to know about these elements and and also so let us check let us have this on draw function. So right here where the actual drawing happens. So I need to start this render so again this arcade is having this start render so let us have some class variable so this is going to call this class and I need to provide these three variables and I need to run this module so I have this color and so these two colors are different so you can provide some RGB value right here so instead of this let us have some RGB value so at first place we need to provide R and the and then G and then blue so we have this R value let us have that and this green is 177 and this blue is 76 so let us check this value and let us have it here so now these two colors looks alike so you can provide this RGB otherwise you can provide some type of color like this so if you are trying to you suppose this render is not present and let us have this pass and let us check so we have this background we don't have any type of background so we need to have this render so we have created this window which is having this background and now let us create some type of class so this class is going to be some character so this is I'm going I'm making this class as subclass and I'm going to have this arcade.sprite so this is the main class so let us have some type of example like so let us have some class as main and if suppose this is having this in it and if suppose you are providing some if this class takes x and y let us have variable for x and variable for y so both of them are having this value none so otherwise let us remove this and let us create some type of subclass so this is the main class and so you can see here this is a subclass and this is a main class 
So if suppose we have some function inside this subclass like some update. So this is going to update some value. So let us have some different otherwise let us provide some x and y right here and let us have this z which is equal to none and let us update this value like so this means that you see here uh, this main class is having this variable but this subclass can also is having this main class so because of that this subclass can also have its all variables class variables so I'm going to set this variable as some value z and let us have some class variable so this is going to call this class and you see it is saying that we need to provide this x and y for this main class so I'm going to provide this as value x and value y and let us print this class variable so I'm going to check this z so its value is none otherwise you can have you can convert this class into some dictionary so you see I'm getting this x y and z as none so we need to provide these two values right here and let us check so now we have this value x and value y but this z is none so I need let me call this method so this is present inside this class variable and I'm going to call this function so now I have this z to some value so in the similar way this sprite is a class so again right here let us import this arcade and let us use this help and this arcade is having this sprite so this is all about this sprite so this is a class and this is having this this many attributes so these are all the methods so it is starting from here so it is having some default so this can be some type of file name or some type of image and we can provide some type of scale for this file name and so the main part here is we can have some type of so we can we have I have created this as subclass so this means that this subclass is going to have all the class variables of this main class so this is also going to have these all things what this main class does and we can add some more new th new things to this subclass so so these sprites are having all these methods and also right here we have this center x and center y this change x and change y so I'm going to provide some some function like update so this is a new function cre created by me and so as I've said this is a main class so this can this subclass can take uh, can operate this all variables present inside this main class so this is this main class is having this center x so let us have that here so this center x is going to be adding with 
this self dot this change x so this is the change x and same thing for this self dot center y is going to add with this self dot change y so this is a simple thing and right now i need to create some type of character so let me have this self dot so i'm going to say it as some main character so i'm going to use this class so you can use this class otherwise you can have this arcade dot sprite but only this class is having this function so this main class doesn't have this type of new function so i'm going to use this class instead of instead of this arcade dot sprite so this is going to take so i have this example here you see i am having this subclass and main class and when i'm going to call this class this is this is saying that you need to provide this x and y for this main class because both of them are not defaults so this is optional if this is default so since this is not a default you have you definitely need to provide these two values so but here all this init function is having this all values so this is going to take some type of image so i don't have any type of image so let's print this this single arcade so this module is present at this path so let us go there local and so programs 36 and this library and so i have this side packages and here i have this arcade and finally i got this in it and all these images music and these sounds are present inside these resources and we are i also have these images and right there i have this I have this enemies and here I have so I have these images so I'm going to choose this otherwise otherwise you can directly go towards these resources and you can have this path like so this resources is having this images and enemies so images and enemies So I have this, so I'm going to choose this, this fish green dot PNG. So I can also provide some type of scale for this sprite. So right here we have this in it and here we have this scale as one. So I'm going to provide this as some 0 0.5 for this main character and this main character is having this center x and center y. So you can provide this center x and center y right here. So let this be present at this screen width by 2 and let this main character center y 
stays at this screen height by 2. Mm. After that, we can actually draw this character. Like this main character is having this draw and let us check this value. So I have this fish and let us make this background as some type of blue color and let us check let us use this color so let me use this background so this is having this r g and b value so instead of providing this defined color let us provide some RGB value so at first place this R is 0 I think and yeah this red is 0 and this screen is 162 and this blue is this value and let us check this window so I have this fish at this place so I'm having that but now I need to so instead of this so instead of creating here I think I can able to provide somewhere here like let this have this in it so it is not going to take any type of value and you know this is a subclass and this is the main class so this class can take these all variables so let us make this center x which is equal to this screen width by 2 and this self dot center y let this have this screen height by 2 so whenever you are creating any type of class like this so when you are calling this class every sprite is going to be having this center x and center y and when you don't have these things this means that you need to provide its center x and center y if you are not providing by default it is having this center x as 0 and center y as 0 so let us remove this and let us check this value so yeah here I have provided these values so if you have this in it so when you are trying to call any, any class this init function it is going to run automatically so to understand that so let us try to print this so this is some main and so instead of this let us check this value and let us make this as comment so you see I am having this main so so this means that when you are calling any type of class like this and this subclass is actually calling this main class so because of that we need to provide this x and y for this subclass and before this means that this init function it is going to run automatically so I got this statement at this output right here so in the same way right here when I have this in it, when I'm going to call this class, we need to provide some type of values. So this is going to be some some image and this is let this be some scale. So this is going to be self dot so this is file name. So let us have this file name equal to this image and self dot this scale so this scale is going to be this value and let us check this thing 
so this character doesn't have this underscore scale otherwise let us remove that and let us remove this otherwise let us have that and so this is actually taken this image and it is taken this scale So let's remove this and let us check this value. So I think I need to use some type of super. So here I have used this super to provide these three values to this main class. So let us use that right here like super and let us have this in it and this is going to take this image and this scale and let's remove these two things and let us take this value so now I have this background and I have this image so main thing here is we need to have this type of super to deliver some values to this thing and we also have this center x and center y so let us provide this otherwise let us make this in this way because center x and center y lies at this place and we have this many bunch of things so we need to provide these three value and we need to come right here so we can provide these values to this center x and center y by these statements so every new character so when you're using this class any sprite so every sprite is going to have this center x and center y when you are calling this class and and let us have this update so right here this function is going to provide this delta time and so let's print this so as I said this is going to provide some delta time so let us check this value so this is a small delta time which is given by this function so this means that after this delta time this function is going to called automatically and only this character is having this method so let us call this main character this update function so every, every time this is going to call this function and let us check this value so I don't have any type of error so main thing here is this change x and change y are initially having zero value So this change x and change y so this is some velocity along in the x plane and this is along the y plane so both of them are having some default I think the some default value as 0 so let us change that when I'm going to press on these arrows so let us have this on key 
press and so when I'm going to press on this key this function is going to provide some key and modifier so let's print this key value so when I'm going to click this up arrow I'm getting all these things and otherwise let us control this character so by the help of this mouse so if this key is equal to this so this arcade is having this key and if this when I'm going to press this up this 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 main character is having this change X and change Y so so this up arrow is along this Y plane so Y direction so when I'm going to press on this up arrow this character has to move along this upward direction so this is going to have some type of speed so let us have variable for that so this is main character some speed so let this be 5 let us have this variable main character speed so this is plus sign and let us have this so when this is down this will be negative and when this is right so right side is again deals with this x coordinate x plane and let us have this x so if this is left I am going to have this minus sign so let us check this result so you see this character is moving and it has to stop when I am going to release this key so let us have all of this once again and so when I am going to release these keys so this will be 0 so let us check this result so you see I am I'm moving this character so here comes the main part so when this character tries to move at this left direction he is having this texture and when this character moves along this right direction this character must have some some different image so like it is going to flip this image so let us have some type of variable which is going to store some type of texture like self dot some textures so I let this be this empty list so here this is having this so I have this texture and we can change this value so right here I need to provide some type of image so I need to load this some type of texture so I'm going to use this arcade dot load texture so this arcade is having this load texture so let us print this arcade dot load texture and I'm going to use this help again so this is all about this te load texture so it is going to take some file name but this function is going to return so this is the return symbol so this is going to return this arcade some texture so this is going to have this so at first place we need to provide the file name so let us have that right here so this is the first texture and let us have this 
right here and so and also here we have this flipped horizontally and flipped vertically so same thing we have at this at this point and we have this flip vertical and flip horizontal so it is also available at this point so in the same way I need to let us check for this so this is for diagonal so let us have this horizontal right here and let us make this as true and so we have these textures so if this self dot this change x is less than 0 this self dot texture so we have this texture for this sprite so this is going to save this self dot this textures this will be 0 and otherwise this texture is going to have this index 1 and let us check this value so so this main character so let us have some default so initial image so let us check now so I think this will be so I have provided diagonal and let us have this right here and let us check this value you see this character is moving at this direction so when he is not moving he is having this image so this is this is ha happening because of this else part so we have this else so otherwise let us have this else if if this change x is greater than 0 this is going to have so this character is going to have this texture and let us check this so now he is not having this default so when I'm going to leave these arrows he is not going to have this default texture so you see uh, this character can move at all this direction and so right here in this image so go to this properties for this image so here we have this pixel as 128 and 128 so let us also make some type of image so so let us resize this into pixels and let us remove this ratio and so this will be 128 and 128 so I am making this because I need to have the same image and let us make this as ok and so we have this block and so this is the background for this window and let us have some type of image like so let this be some black color so let us have this like some type of character and let us save this 
at these images. So in these images, I have this image, and so instead of this, let us have this path that is image, and let us have these images. So this is untitled dot some png and let us have this right here and let this have the some initial file name and let us check this value so now it is having this file and you see when I'm moving you see this character moves along this direction so main thing here is this image is also having the same color so this image is having the same background color as this window does so we can't actually see its background so let us have this at this place and let us check this value so now this character is moving so this is for this flipped horizontal and if you are not remembering all these things and you can directly go to its document to see all these things and let us check for this so based on your interest you can check for this vertical and this diagonal so I think that's it for this video and see you again. Bye-bye.